welcome back to my channel it's jasmine and i'm back with some more home decor if you are new here i love to do scandinavian and bohemian mostly but today's video is going to be a little venture out i've been designing other people's spaces so when I do other people's spaces, I'm definitely stepping outside of my normal style. So today's space, we're going to be decorating kind of more of a rustic farmhouse look. Um, I've done a couple rooms for this family before and I will share them here. Um, but it's a lot of fun to decorate other people's spaces. There are some challenges and restrictions, obviously, as you're working around someone else's design aesthetic and requirements, things that they need. Um, for this space. So I will kind of talk you guys through as we design this space why I made certain choices and kind of the parameters I had in which to decorate. So I will try my best to explain their needs and the things that they asked for and the reasons why I'm making certain choices, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So here's a few photos of what the room looked like before I had even got there. They cleaned out the room for me before I came, which I so appreciate because it just makes the process so much quicker and easier for me. So as usual, first thing I like to do is just make sure the walls and windows and things are clean. Um, before I get started, it just makes it a lot easier once I get to the paint that there's no dust on the walls and that the paint will go on smooth. So we have a large ceiling crack that goes all the way from the corner of the room to like the center or past the center. So I'm just gonna use some spackle and patch that up and then sand it down. And any pieces that are like peeling up like that, we're just gonna pull them off and then patch the space. got that all patched up and now it's drying and all the holes in the walls are patched up. So to be 100% honest, the prep work is probably almost as long as the painting, but without it, the paint does not look that great. So taking the time to remove the plates, to patch up the holes in the walls, to patch up all the cracks, it's worth it in the end just because your paint will look so much more professional and well done. So that's where we're at. So I'm gonna have to sand all of this stuff down by hand. I don't have um, my sander with me. Um, so I'm just gonna go over it and that just takes a while. And then I'll hit it with some paint. The paint is probably even quicker than all of this process. For our current situation, this is so I don't get dust and sand in my hair. So yeah, this is a brand new like drop cloth, which I'm gonna use afterwards, but yeah. Let's get to sanding. So they ended up having a sander that I could use, which was awesome because it just made it go by that much faster. I am covering my face with my shirt because I didn't have a mask with me. Okay, so we're back for day two. So everything is pretty much dried. We patched up the cracks here on the ceiling. So that's all dry. And then um, all the holes on the wall. So I'm just going to start painting now and then pull up the carpet and that should be probably all for today. So I'm gonna paint the trims. They wanted the trims white and then the walls um, tan. So we're gonna paint the ceiling first with the white and then, which we have some leftover alabaster from the other room. So that's what we're using on the ceiling. And then we're painting the color canvas tan on the walls. <laughs> You can't 
Can't even see the crack anymore. It looks so good. You could see there's like a huge crack. So after the paint dries, I'll just go over with some caulking and just seal up that crack. Just to make it look a little bit more polished. Okay, so the first thing that I did before I left the room was I drew out this really crappy drawing. Excuse my really bad drawing. But I pretty much measured everything in the room, like the doors, the closet, the cabinets, um, just to make sure that I knew what was where when I went to go purchase things online. So I made sure I had a measurement of the windows. And then once they got the furniture in, she sent me how much space was between the dresser and the bed on each side. I didn't pick the furniture, so I honestly did not have any idea of what the furniture would be like or how big it would be um, until she sent me the measurements of it. So the dressers are a lot larger than what I would have expected traditional dresser size to be, but we definitely were able to work around it. So here's the picture that she sent me of the furniture in the room. Then I hopped online to look for some items that we would use to style in the room. It's easiest for me to find things online. That way I could send them pictures and they could tell me whether they like it or not. I usually give about three to five options of things so that they can choose from them and kind of feel more included in the design. So here's some of the family's requests as we're going back and forth with design ideas. This helped me know which direction to head as I was planning. Once she picked all the pieces that she liked, I just put together a mood board. Then I just had her take a photo of the room directly from the front uh, with the light and so it would be easier for me to draw and place things on this image in Photoshop just so we can get a good idea of what this room would look like. So since the furniture was a little bit on the bigger side, I did want to keep this design very minimal, incorporate the things that they wanted such as the table lamps and the blinds. Uh, with some curtains over them but other than that i didn't want to add too much decor i wanted to leave the surfaces open so they can still put the things that they need up there so once i've ordered those things online we're pretty much just waiting for them to come in so i will go out and buy the simpler things that i can find easily in the stores that are kind of more on the generic side and i will just collect that stuff and then head over to the house once everything has arrived
Okay, so we're back in the room ready to start decorating and this is what we have so far. So the, they got the furniture while it was gone and then I ordered stuff online which has arrived here. We have a bunch of like the linens and the curtains and stuff. I grabbed some curtain rods from Ikea as you guys saw. Um, and then we got these from Amazon which look super cute on the tables. Um, and then what else? I got this from Hobby Lobby. Let me show you. So I grabbed this at Hobby Lobby. I saw one at Target that I really loved and it was like, I want to say it was something crazy, like $70 or $50 or something. I got this one for 20 bucks at Hobby Lobby. So we're going to hang this. I wanted something really minimal and simple because the room does kind of feel a little bit crowded so this will keep it still like minimal but we'll add some a little bit of decor to the wall we don't want to leave nothing on the walls but we do want to keep it minimal next to the beds i did want to do wall sconces to keep the tables clear and feel a little less cluttered but these lamps do look really good these are the ones they chose they did not want to go with wall sconces which is okay um and these actually came out looking really good so yeah, I think they have kind of like a rustic farmhouse vibe. So we tried to incorporate that into the style of all the decor we bought um, while still keeping it neutral and minimal because of all of the bulkier furniture um, in this smaller room. I think keeping it lighter on the decor and keeping it neutral, which you guys know I already love anyway, um, really helps it feel a little bit more minimal. So once you guys see the bed style with the lighter bedding, it should feel a little bit less crowded in here so this is what it's looking like now we got these rugs these rugs were also from amazon they are a little bit big for the space but um these were the ones that we decided on because they really liked the print i want to be daring baby dance the night away i let my head down if i want to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better So today is our last day here, so I'm just going to add a couple finishing things and switch out the bedding, and then we are done. Um, they are going to, we're waiting on this. We ordered, and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. We ordered just a simple white fan that will go in here. Um, but for some reason, Home Depot is taking forever to ship it. So they're just going to switch it out um, at a later time, just maybe in a couple weeks or so. Show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better. So much better. This linen duvet cover set is so soft. It's literally the softest thing ever. This is a washed linen in a natural color, and I'll link it in the description box. It, this is so good. I might get one for myself. Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes off, you don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder. Don't hide it. I 
Let's do a little quick recap of what it looked like before. And here's the after in three, two, one. You know, 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 this video I definitely think it came out so good I was not really sure how it was gonna come out different things maybe I would have done differently but I think it's perfect for them and it came out so good I love the way that it looks let me know what you guys think down below also if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for being here as always keep spreading the love and light and I will catch you on the next one